little bit of uh, time wasting. It doesn't really matter now. So Booker sending that ball through. It's David Robertson who had a fine first half. He was full of running. Gave Rangers a bit of hope uh, along with Loudrop, but uh, both of those players as you would expect, have struggled in the second half and come back just after injury. Here's Boland now. Could be a chance for Rangers to mount one last attack from around to stoppage time. It's played off by Murray. That's Petric. And they the ball up the park. Silly golf play. Again. See Stryer getting just about everyone behind the ball. Last one coming in looking for McCoy's, but uh, Stelia deals with that one comfortably. And then still no Champions League goal for Ali McCoy. Another night of disappointment for him. And you can see the disappointment uh, written in the faces of the Rangers management team. The referee checks his watch. The whistle sounds. Gascoigne gave Rangers hope, but it's all over for Walter Smith and his men. It hasn't been a great championship by them. It's been a disappointing couple of months since the start of the season, but they're still top of the Premier Division. They have to go through it all again. A final thought now from Trevor. As you say, Jerry, disappointing night. Uh, it's the end of the, the Champions League for Rangers. And, uh, you know, we have to learn from the experience of it. We've, I don't think we've actually played well in any of the games that um, we've competed in so far. I think we've we've been more disappointed in, in ourselves in the way that the games have gone and uh, we'll have to look back on it take it in as an experience and, and do better in the future as simple as that and there you see the full-time score rangers one Steyr bucharest one and that means rangers european dream is well and truly over join me after this break for the thoughts of davy and alex <laughs> Diet Coke break. Diet Coke break. I don't want you to be no slave. I don't want you to work all day. But I want you to be true. And I just want to make love to you. Love to you. See you tomorrow. 11.30. Mm -hmm. For the latest low prices on electrical products, use the Comet Price Index every Saturday in every tabloid and on teletext. The Comet Price Index. Better come to Comet. Life has a habit of presenting us with appealing alternatives. It's not always so easy to make the right decision. Fortunately, when it comes to choosing a mobile phone, here's one you can be sure of. Hello? Nokia. Because nothing connects quite like it. Nokia. Connecting people. Mara. The outstanding new studio album from Runring. Aye, but... But Granny, what does Uncle Chauncey mean? Hello. Hello, Granny. Oh, Grant. Morning, Kate. The very man I want to see, I'll catch you later. All right. Hi, Dennis. Jimbo, some of us all last night, eh? No, I have, mate. Number one, take you out right off the top. That was Jim White. He's never spoken to us before. He didn't speak to us ever. Hi, Lloyd. How are you doing? It looks great, Jim. That's yourself, Jim. Who are we off to? <laughs> That's the thing about television. Everybody recognises you. The wonderful world of the techno junkie. Surf the net, sniff the future. What's your smiley? You know what I say? Grow up. Get this. Virtual lager, virtual bottle, virtual color. <sighs> Literally no taste. Here's some hardware I interfaced with earlier. Colston pills. Apparently it's fitted with an obsolete component. Flavor. 
Hey man, get wired. Get a life. Something you'll never tire of seeing. If you think that was a coincidence, kind of where do you see my new video? <laughs> Roy Chubby Brown, live at Blackpool. Just buy it! Rose and Fred West butchered at least ten victims in their evil life together. Now read the full story in tomorrow's Daily Record. Every year, hundreds of young men endure countless hours of deadly, tedious, mind-numbing boredom. But for the next few weeks, Snickers offer you the chance to win one of a thousand pairs of Adidas Predators, the football boots that give you more power, more swerve, and more control. So please, check out a Snickers bar today. And maybe scenes like this will be a thing of the past. Welcome back at finish 1-1 at Irox. Davey, Rangers fans will be fed up hearing that it's a learning process, really. Yeah, I think that Trevor Stephen uh, has a good point, though, Jim. Um, if there's a consolation in this, is that Rangers were drawn in the strongest section, uh, two superb sides in Dortmund and, and Juventus, uh, and tonight, Stoya at times looked very slick, mm. and I think we have to look at the way they play and admire it. There is a fluency about their play that we don't have here. Yes, indeed. Gascoigne certainly had a fluency about his play tonight, Ali, and again, he looked lively as the second half started. Yeah, well, the, the goal in the first half was vintage Gascoigne. Second half, you see another good run, strong run. Charlie Miller's put the ball in, Gascoigne almost got in the end of it. Well, he did get in the end of it, but he's not directed it in target. Mm. It was a good positive run, and it's a type of play you want to see from your midfielders getting into the box there. Yeah, but then of course the Romanians came right back into it when Adrian Illy equalised and he put it away beautifully, didn't he, David? Yeah, it was a great exchange on the, on the edge of the box and they play these, they, they can play these one-twos to a band playing, they, they play them continually and it's so difficult to defend against it and it, it's a great finish, Andy Gorham has no chance with that and they were well worth the equaliser, let's be honest. They were. You have to say that, Alec, don't you? It was a brilliantly slick one-two, you see Gordon Petrich beating all ends up there Difficult to blame the defender because it was so slick, but superb finish. He's even put side spin on it to bring it back in towards the net. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so often you can say Gorham is the star man, but again he was a star man, and that I suppose in many ways is a reflection in the 90 minutes I like tonight, but what a <laughs> brilliant save from Militaro again in the second half. Well, he's a, he's a tremendous string of saves throughout this Champions League. And here we see it again, Militaro set up beautifully there by Vladio and that's superb save. That's phenomenal, yeah. Davey, isn't it? Yeah, he just seems to spread himself so well. Great reactions. Um, it's reminiscent of the one against Van Hooydonk on Saturday. You made a very good point, David, Sunday to me uh, on Sunday during, during the match. Uh, Laudrup must be one fit man to come in after such a long layoff. Play there on Sunday against Celtic and then do so well tonight for, for Rangers tonight. I mean, Laudrup is quite amazing. Yeah, I think he gave Walter Smith a, a right good shift tonight. I think perhaps supporters would fail to understand how difficult it would be having been out that length of time without a reserve game, to play in the Old Firm match on Sunday and give another 90 minutes here tonight. And even at this late stage in the match, he was still getting to the byline for Rangers and creating chances there. Unfortunately, on that occasion, no takers at the back post, but a great ball across the face of the goal. I thought he would struggle, John, to be honest. I, didn't, I couldn't see him last in the Old Firm game, never yeah. in tonight's game. And, and it he began to show it, didn't he? It says a lot for the man that he's given such a good performance. Well, Goro and Alex rounded off a, a tremendous individual performance tonight with uh, a save from my old pal, Lakatush. <laughs> I was very sorry I didn't meet up with while he's been over here. Yeah, well, he likes you, doesn't he? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Great no, save by Goro. It's a fantastic save. I think it was from little Vlad. Vlad there. You see the ball moving in the air there and Gorham's reacted and he's just got his body in the way of it. A wee bit fortunate it didn't end up in the air, mm. but it was a powerful shot. So, Davey, they, they have to learn from it, I suppose. We're fed up seeing it and you're fed up hearing it. I think we've all taken on board where we're going wrong. Jim, it'll be another generation um, before we see the benefits of, of what we do now. I think Rangers and Celtic have both recognised we need good training facilities, we need to get the kids at a younger age. But um, as a football supporter, I think we have to appreciate the way these, these Continentals play again. And that is a young side, Jim. Yeah. Stour. Who knows what they could create in, in well, future that, years. So that's, that's a team that's come from the youth ranks. 
OK, guys, well, that's it on another sad night for Scottish football. 1-1, Rangers out of Europe and without a win in the Champions League. We'll be back with you at 11.45 with highlights from the rest of the UEFA Champions League. Until then, from all of us, bye for now. <laughs>